So my name is Shaked, and I've been here in Kotare village and working with Kwanga Institute for the last four years. And I'll talk a little bit about biochar and what we've done lately. And so if you haven't heard about biochar, biochar is a, an increasing um, trend, I could almost say, um, around the world. And it's all about increasing the um, ability of our soils to do better for us and in general. So we're increasing the cation exchange capacity in our soils, which means we're able to hold more moisture, we're able to hold more minerals, um, we're able to hold more microbes and really increase the ability in, to grow nutrient-dense food in our soils. This video is a bit more about cone kilns. So there is a specific way that any person can do. We can either dig a hole and develop them or we can build one like you can see. And they are just the most versatile way of making biochar. Um, the, the cone kiln comes originally from Japan and the Ithaca Institute from Switzerland has done a lot of research and developed the design to be very, very efficient, very clean in terms of pollution, so hardly polluting at all, and making really high quality char. The way we would um, use the corn kiln, as you see, is we'll start a really good, hot, strong fire in the middle at the bottom. And once that, that got going really well, we'll spread that around the bottom so that we're getting a good spread of the heat. At that point, we'll start adding um, layers of wood, as you can see in the pictures, um, layer by layer. And each time the layer we add, is just as as thick to start burning together and not too thick to stop the fire from from burning and really hot So really biochar is an amazing strategy we can use um, to increase the fertility of our soils, whether it's our forest gardens or our annual gardens or pasture. We can feed biochar to animals and increase milk production by a lot. So there's no doubt anymore that, that biochar can be an amazing um, application for our soils, increasing fertility. At each point, after, after every layer of wood is starting a little bit to ash, so when we start recognizing little spots of white on, on the wood, we know that there's no pyrolysis happening anymore. We know that there's no more gases coming out of the wood and it's the carbon that's burning now. And that's our time to add the next layer on top. That means that um, the fire itself is what protecting the biochar from burning. The fire is what's protecting the carbon from burning and becoming into ash. And so that's, that's what a little bit different from, from the other techniques. As well, it gives us a lot of ability to a different size, different bits of wood, different thickness, and control really efficiently the, the ratio of, um, and control really efficiently our ability to prevent uh, unburnt wood and um, have our char um, properly processed in the fire. 